Welcome to Foreign Words of the Week. I'm Susie Dent, a lexicographer and etymologist who has been sitting in Dictionary Corner on Countdown for 30 years, judging English words offered up by contestants. But my first loves were German, and French and foreign languages, and today I'm going to bring you some of my favourite words from around the world, discussing where they've come from and why they've made the cut. Do subscribe to Rosetta Stone's YouTube channel below so you don't miss next week's episode. You might think that English is full of idioms that sound bonkers to modern ears. You can have your cake and eat it, for example, or let the cat out of the bag. Each of them, though, has a unique history that shines a light on our past preoccupations and pleasures. But what about those from other languages, and what do they tell us? Let's start with insults. Speaking of which, if I get my pronunciation wrong, please don't insult me, but just let me know the correct one in the comments below. If you want to tell someone to go away, but more strongly, in Finnish, you might bellow Suxe cuisine, go ski into a spruce. In Portuguese, you would be telling them vai a fava, go to the fava bean. Avere gli occhi foderati di prosciutto is to have one's eyes lined with ham. Leave it to the Italians to have food related phrases. You can use this when someone can't see what's right in front of them or when they bury their head in the sand. It can also be used when someone is blinded by love. In China, if someone is so angry they are metaphorically bent out of shape, they are said to qi chao shen yang. In other words, to emit smoke from seven orifices. You might be wondering exactly what the orifices are in question, so just to clear things up, they are a pair of eyes and ears, as well as the two nostrils and the mouth. That clears that up then. Dogs may be our best friends, but English idioms haven't always been kind to them. Think of a dog's dinner or going to the dogs. The same fate is suffered by our faithful hounds in other languages too. In Italy, a dog in church, for example, has a special meaning. Un cane in chiesa is used to refer to an unwanted guest. Someone so out of place, they simply have to go. Ugle i mosen is Norwegian speak for something is fishy around here. Only its direct translation is a bit of a head scratcher, for it means owls in the moss. And there you have my foreign words of the week. I hope you come to love these expressions as much as I do, but do please comment below and let me know if you have any fantastic foreign words that we could feature in future episodes, or if you have ideas for other topics that you'd like covered. Make sure you subscribe to Rosetta Stone's YouTube channel so you don't miss next week's episode, and click the link in the description for exclusive offers on all their language learning courses. I'm learning Spanish with Rosetta Stone and I really love it. See you next week.